Hey, we're recording. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, I'm going to do uh, some uh, film review comparison for today on Ready Speaker with Roland Rucci. Now we're in the hat today. You can see uh, my baldness and my grayness showing, but I may put a hat on later. So we'll see how that goes. I uh, also have a little tea. It's the dead of winter. Had a nice little storm going on, I think, recently. So I'm drinking a little tea in a uh, little to-go cups. Just easier riding the mug. I don't have a mug. I don't have any merch yet. Don't have any merch. So just, just doing with cups. So the movies we're going to look at are The uh, Tender Bar with Ben Affleck and a movie, a uh, long story short, with the lead being Rafe Spall. I think it's uh, Australian or or New Zealand. I don't know exactly where it is, but it uh, seems like it's it's down down in Australia or something like that. I think that's that's where it is. So let's let's start with the tender bar. So tender bar is about a uh, young boy, Jr., who uh, has a is a child of a single mom. Oh, something fell. Look at that. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're talking about stuff here, and that's why you got to keep going. Got to keep going. Got to acknowledge and go. Acknowledge and go. That's what you work with. So uh, we have a short, uh, nice feature film. Uh, it's on uh, Amazon, I believe. And uh, like I said, it's a story it's about a young boy uh, with a single mom, who the mom and, and the child go back to her parents after she has a messy breakup uh, with the father of the child. Doesn't really make sure. I'm not sure if they're married. Uh, and it's about his uh, coming of age with an uncle and his family over there in in Manhattan, Long, Long Island, which I think is a, is a great little town. Uh, it's nice to see uh, Long Island represented. I'm not from there, but I like Long Island. Actually, where is Manhattan? Where is it located? Let's see. Manhasset, Long Island. I should have uh, looked this up before. I don't do that all the time. Oh, it's right on the other side of Lake Success. But it is North Shore. So uh, North Shore and South Shore, very different parts. We're looking at the film uh, with Ben Affleck and, and this uh, young uh, young actor. Uh, let's see who the young actor is here. I'm just going to Google map here. Is uh, Ty uh, Sheridan. Uh, uh, the, the houses, the structure of the houses looks very long shore. It looks like an older community which I think is kind, of, is kind of cool. I really like this film. I'm not a huge Ben Affleck fan. I, I, I'm really I'm really not. Uh, you know, I, th I think he has the, you know, the, the superhero jaw on the looks, and I think he has some great delivery at times. But he really does a spectacular job just living in, in the life of, of this character, his Uncle Charlie. Uh, actually, I'm going to play, I'm going to play, I'm going to play the trailer for you. So let me just uh, share that, and we're going to watch this for a second. Your grandfather is a selfish old prick who resents taking care of his family. And yet, you all end up back here at my house. Welcome. You're only uncle. I'm also your favorite uncle. Right? Sounds like some movie. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a good movie. It's a really, really good movie. So you can sue your father for child support. No, so he can help with your fines about the septic tank. No, oh, here we go. Come on, Mary. Whose kid is that? It's just good sister. They're hot women and crazy women. Wait, you can die? <laughs> okay, two rules. I'm never gonna let you win. I don't always tell you the truth. Your father is a big beat. I'll take care of you. Teach you the male sciences. I saw you in the yard playing sports. You're not very good. Now find some other activities. I like to read. You read enough of those? Maybe. You could become a writer. One more thing, very important. Never hit a woman, even if she stabs you with scissors. Got it. So you need a fool to go down by the schoolyard. Yeah, no, no, but today my nephew is officially a man. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to offer you a place in the Yale class of 1986. Hey, I'm JR. Sydney, you're in my class. <laughs> well, I'm on my way. So what do you want to be, JR? I'm going to be a writer. But what's your main theme? The absent father. Poor boy who wants a rich girl. She doesn't love you. Which is next is going to be important. You go and stare up at the building and read. No. Well, I'm on my way. I don't know where I'm going to live in the moment. We're going to be the bad guy in life. You gotta have it. 
You don't have it. You never get it. Can I say you got it? I'll tell you, it was a. Uh... It was enjoyable. Even watching the trailer, I'm, I'm seeing things that, that I remember that, that sort of, uh, you know, uh, bring it back. Uh, it's, I, th I think it's a really well well done film. Uh, I know it's based on a, a, a memoir, and and this, the source material is probably interesting. That Affleck like, definitely has uh, some, some of the juicier parts in, in it as Uncle Charlie, but he is the lead. You know, he's the guy who's bringing in the money for for the movie with George Clooney and the pals. And, uh, and they're making this great thing. You have Christopher Lloyd as grandpa. He has some funny bits in it. And there's good supporting stuff in, in, in there. The young JR, I think, is really nice little kid. At first, uh, I, I didn't warm up to him. But but as as the, the, the movie evolved, I think it was really, really interesting to, to watch. Uh, and his dad, uh, the voice, they never actually name him. So I don't know who he is from old New York radio. But I grew up in, in, in New York City. So I know uh, that culture of the 70s and the style. So for me, it was a lot of nostalgia. Um, a, a really nice soundtrack that you rarely you rarely hear, you know, is uh, not nowadays. You know, the music from the seventies and the styles from the seventies aren't really appreciated that much. Always the sixties or or pop in the eighties, and uh, you know, new wave and all that. But the seventies had some great tunes in it that, that that really really move you. And and they did a great job with the aging of the characters. It was over an extended period of time, and uh, so so it went from him being you know I guess an eight or nine year old. And uh, all the way to going to college and, and graduating college and his first job. And he has this great relationship with a girl who's biracial. And that's not really even discussed. And that's actually one of the poignant, the, the poignant things uh, or important thing about this film is that it's showing you a culture at a time where people thought everybody was rioting and angry at each other and, and just being an ass. But, but there's these great characters in, in, in this film. And, and it just showed how people were, were in a different place back then than we imagined. I mean, you have a guy, Uncle Charlie, who's, who's a really well-read guy, and he's the anchor of the story and the anchor of, this, of JR's life in this and he's giving them you know this, this great upbringing as, as an uncle he's really you know helping this kid you know become a man and he says these things that you know i remember guys talking like that i remember you know guys being like that and, and just because he, he manages a bar you know you're not a schmuck because of your job you know you're a schmuck because you're a schmuck uh there's there's definition of these characters even the mom i mean she's sprinkled throughout it that she's frustrated she's broken but the the, the kids memories are, are really with that with that father figure that they were missing and, and that they got and, and he saw who his real father was and it wasn't his father anymore so that's 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 really it's a really inter interesting pov of, of an absentee dad and and over a long period of time and then, and then you jump right to long story short which is a long period of time uh, but from a different POV of an absentee dad. He's the absentee dad. The the, the summary of that of this film just came out. I think this is on Netflix actually. Uh, so I, I think it's I think I think it's on Netflix. Let me see here. I think it's uh, yeah, it's on Netflix. And it's a uh, rape spell. And he uh, and yeah, I'm actually gonna share. I'm not actually I'm not gonna share. I'm gonna share trail in a minute. But uh, what what happens is that he gets married to the love of his life and and, and all that. And uh, and he gets a present uh, by some mystic woman on on a, on a on the uh, at, a, at a cemetery while, while he's talking to his dad, and uh, he gets a present to essentially jump time ten times on his anniversary to see what he did wrong in his life, and and the biggest thing is that he's an absolute dad, and that that's why I didn't. It, it, it just it didn't really work with me. I mean, some of the storylines kind of kind of weird to me. I'm, I'm gonna let me uh, get the trailer up here for you too, and uh, let me see. No, no, let me see. Sorry, got a whole bunch of things. Let me just set it up, and I'll set it up in a second. There we go. And I'm, I'm going to share this with you as well, okay? And uh, you, you, I mean, you, you'll get the, uh, right away. You'll get a different feel, a feel of the film, I think. And this is this is actually the opening scene. The opening scene of the trailer is the opening scene of the film. So I'm not divulging anything here by doing this. So let's uh, screen share. Go that. I'm going to start. And we're going to play. I thought you were someone else. All right. Let me buy you a drink to, to make uh, up for the it. The drinks are free. Oh, they were terrific. Yeah. I'll definitely get you one then. In the film, I thought they were faking it, but it was actually true. He kissed the wrong girl. I don't know. I never thought this day would come. Any normal man would have married Leanne the second you laid eyes on her. I don't know why. You waited and waited. Waited. I'm not that bad. Let's talk about it later. 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 Anyway, Leanne, he's your problem now. 
I find later can often turn into too late. But you know, you don't want to rush things, do you? What if you woke up and a whole year had gone by? Just like that. Yeah? Are you okay? No offence, Peter, you're very bloody. That's pretty normal for 18 weeks. What? Of being pregnant. You're pregnant? Okay, this is not funny. I've been waking up tight. That's their house, by the way. That I'm going to come back to that. That's their house. Every few minutes, another year goes by. Say hi to Danny. Oh, here he is. Here she is. Yeah, that would be my second guess. So you tell me that it's going to blow your mind, strap yourself in. I think I have traveled through time. Where'd you end up? Here. Uh, now. I don't think you get how time travel works. I don't know what's happened to us the last couple of years. Well, I haven't been here for any of it. Exactly. This curse is ruined my life. Who are you? What but, is going on? Yeah, are you okay? This strange and I'm um, hoping gay man is in your house for some reason. You know exactly who he is. Cousin? He's my boyfriend. So when you look at yourself, the harder I try, the worse things are. It's life. It's never perfect. I have to save my marriage. We have to call her. Hi. Happy anniversary. You finally remembered. Did you get me something? It's on mute. You get me a fruit basket made with lots of bananas and peaches in it, if you know what I mean. You bet. <laughs> I'd like to apologise for not telling you every day that I love you. I'm sorry I didn't have time to wrap it. You got me a bra, yeah, but the fifth know. anniversary gift is wood. I'm about to give you a bit of that. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> See, that's uh, I'm gonna stop sharing now. All right, so you, you get it. I mean, I, I think he's a comic, though, or at least he's 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 playing it like like a like a comic, and and uh, and and, and his delivery is actually think I think pretty good. The only thing is the story is very weak to me because it's, it's a very weak story where he, he's jumping time, and the only thing you really find out about the characters is is that he has a job uh, that he's very good at. He's making a lot of money. I I did breakfast the house in the trailer. Because that's a really fucking expensive house. <laughs> and to have a house like that, and her biggest complaint is you're not around. That's constantly repeated. Essentially, you're an absolute dad because you're working so much. That that yeah, I think she, I think she has a line there. We were we were we had half the money, we were twice as happy, or so something to that effect. And that's bullshit because he's got a really nice house on the beach. Sorry, that's like that's like prime real estate. That guy's making bank. And and and, and she has these other dreams. And why don't you follow your dreams? Like, I want to follow my dreams and all this other stuff. And, and it's it's all about his failures. Yet I don't know anything about him. I don't know his job. Uh, I, I really don't know what he does. I don't know how he got that fucking house. Uh with the with uh the tender bar, they're all living in this tight little house on North Shore of Long Island, you know, and, and where they even take a day trip with uh, uh, Uncle Charlie and JR with his buddies to the beach. He, he pulls them into his life. And they both have, have a really interesting beach scene where, where he, in the, uh, in long story short, it's with him, you know, showing up with his daughter who was like you know, nine or 10 and he's confused and, and he's, he's doing the, the stand up on the stand comic bit thing where he's, he comes out with all these lines. Um, and it's not as poignant. As, as the moment where, where Uncle Charles is walking with his buddies and his nephew just to the beach uh, on, on Long Island and just, just relaxing somewhere and taking a moment. And a lot of people don't realize this, Long Island has a lot of beaches and they're, they're very much enamored with it. And people are always going to the beach. They're always finding time to go to the ocean there. A lot of surfing, a lot of fishing, a lot of moments where people just find you know, quiet time alone. And I think they capture that essence. George Clooney did a great job, you know, uh, just really capturing capturing. That, that that essence of that town i don't know if it was shot there but uh but it you know it's, it's an old you know it looks like an old town a lot of old cars uh, uncle charlie's driving an old cadillac uh that that ages <laughs> old cadillac convertible which is like a really a cool this guy had swagger in the 70s his uncle charlie had swagger and there's an old cadillac convertible and, and and you know by the end it looks a little bit more run down a little duct tape on the tape on the on the chair and and, and there's some reality there and there's a great scene uh with the the dad the voice comes and wants to hang out with the uh with with J jr and he uh and, and he wants to go to a baseball game and and uh, talk about baseball and ben Affleck says not the yankees i'm gonna wear a yankee at because i know he hates the yankees because he, he makes them pick a, a mets mets uh mets game so i, I don't know if uh, that's because he hates the yankees or he's just such a a, a boston fan that he has this 
you know, animosity, and he can't say go to a Yankee game. The kid man might have gone to a Yankee. Might have gone. It's always a borough thing. It's really, like the Yankees were uh, mostly the Bronx. Uh, some parts of Brooklyn, but Brooklyn Queens were like always Mets. He, uh, Staten Island's the Yankees, and I think I think Manhattan was always the, the Yankees as well. They just always had we we how you get there. So uh, so you know, th- so it's it's interesting. How I I know so much and I retain so much from that that little bit of interaction of, of uh, Uncle Charlie at the bar, Uncle Charlie's buddies at the bar, all, you know, well-read people, you know, just, you know, like I said, you know, just because, you know, sometimes you you have a job that you don't expect to be as well-read or or really involve a worldly person, somebody who's had experiences, you know, it doesn't mean you're a schmuck. I mean, it, it, that's the reality. I grew up like that. I knew guys, you know, we're, we're, we're working guys, regular guys. They went to school. They loved it. You know, they, they talked about the grandfather, even, even that, you know, where he's, uh, where Christopher Lloyd is, you know, they, they even mentioned it, like he, he spoke Greek and Latin and college never got him anything, but the, the goal was for JR to go to Harvard and, and, and to make it and to, to really do it on, on his merits. And, and, and it was, a, it was a, a beautiful story about learning, you know, to educate yourself, to, to immerse yourself in, in, with people and, and, and be a student of people and, and let them teach you and, and learn and listen. And he makes a great friend with a roommate and all this stuff. So there's so much richness without, Without a lot of crazy detail, but it, it gave you so much, and just with little things, I, I think I thought it was really, really great. Where, whereas, long story short, I just didn't, I didn't get it. I, I didn't get it by the end. I mean, I, I get the message of like, you know, it's a, uh, you know, li, li, you know, f- find the time for everything, live your dreams. But I didn't really see where her dreams failed, and and I, I felt like his dreams failed, and, and she was trying, you know, as a wife. And I know this probably sounds weird, but she in, in the story, she's you know, after I think the second or second or third at the you know, jump, she's like trying to write a book and she quit her, her job to write a book. And, and, and she was trying to convince him to quit your job and become a photographer. Like you, you, you would have been a great one by now. I, well, I never saw any photos, never saw the camera. I had no idea what the hell that was about. Uh, and then, and yet they have this really nice house with multiple bedrooms that she's redesigning as soon as, as soon as she walks in from the wedding. So, you know, I, I don't, I don't see the reality of that. I don't, I don't see the struggle for that. I don't see the, uh, the nurturing of both. For, for, for that, you know, whereas in uh, in the tender bar, so a lot of nurturing of those characters, of support, uh, you know, Uncle Charlie has a great time with the therapist, you know, great, great, so great lines. I love the way he smokes a cigarette, you know, it's it just smoking with back then it was everywhere. Everybody smoked, you know, so it was everywhere. There was a certain style to it. They mentioned it and they, they mentioned a lot of the culture of, of that time. And I got nothing from, uh, from long, long story short. Uh, and I mean, the only thing I got was he, uh, his best friend, Sam, at the end, there's a reveal at the end. I'm not going to even talk about it. But he has a moment where he tells Sam, his friend, that, that he loves him. And, and, you know, people don't say I love you enough. And I wonder, was maybe that's the love story that I would have been more interested in. Is there a love story in there, you know, that, uh, that, that we, we didn't know about? Or maybe you, you, there's, some, there's some twists at the end, at least a little discussion about things. I don't know. In my opinion, maybe, maybe uh, Teddy, who uh, Rafe uh, plays, should have been with Sam. I think there might be something more there. That's my opinion on it. So uh, maybe, maybe you can watch the movie, give it a shot. I mean, watch it with a spouse, uh, with a partner, whatever. See, see what you think. But I think I think uh, the underlying, underlying meaning for me is that maybe Teddy wasn't meant to be with Leanne, his wife. I'm reading the names here. That's why I'm just, my eyes are darting. Uh, but maybe maybe in the long run, he needed to be with Sam. Because I thought his delivery with Sam, his frustration, his, his dialogue, his interaction was probably, you know, more vivid, more anchored. And, and more of a reality than with Leanne because he failed. I don't know. Why. And then I understand why. Like, you know, show yourself 10, 10 years, 10 year jumps to show how bad you are as a person and not really define. He was frantic. They didn't even know why he failed. But the one fail he had with Sam was very concrete. It was a very concrete fail that had ramifications that were much different. They weren't selfish. They weren't selfish. The guy had a great scene with Sam. So maybe in the end, Teddy needed to be with Sam. Tender Bar, JR always needed to be with his Uncle Charlie. That was his anchor. His moment when he saw his nephew essentially become an adult that he helped, he fathered. He, I'll tell you, I, I, uncles like that are rare, no matter what people think. Uncles like that are rare. And uh, you know, that's true to who his Uncle Charlie was. Uh, that, that JR, that, that kid was a lucky, lucky freaking kid. Because uncles like that to really, yeah, I've known a few, you know, I've had, you know, I've known people like that with their nephews and, and I've had some good uncles that you have those moments where now they're just happy of who you are, you know, and, and they, they lift you and they elevate you. And it's, it's very different. It's very, it's very, very different. It's, uh, 
it's very odd actually because um uh, where i come from again albanian i'll bring it up every 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 episode i'll bring it up a simple matter of fact here you go had another hat i'm not really a yankee fan but i wear my uh albanian hat for you so uh and where we where we come from in our part of the world it's always the mother's brothers who who uh who will pull you in a little closer because you don't share a same family name so they're the guys who, who always try and and do a little more if you look out a little bit for you because they you're, you're their sister's son you know so it's 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 different you're not the same last name you're not you're part of the family but you're a little outside you know when it comes to like you know lineage so you know it's a patriarchal society so but uh and, and that's very interesting that that's what i saw play and then that i loved it i think uh ben affleck just nailed it right right out of the park with this i think he lived in this character so well and he was able to visit the physicality of it uh jr young jr old I, th I think there was some really good moments on the peripheral characters uh you know the, the mother in it uh, let me see what her name is uh let's see let's see let's see where is she um well it's just mom but lily lily rat uh you know she, she has some good moments a lot of detention uh the accents were a little off i, I didn't know if they were doing boston and new york but it's actually easy to confuse I, I i did a film years ago where i was playing a boston character and i, I was able to get it where everybody throws a selfie over there uh, but and some people were like, oh, but it sounds like Brooklyn. But that they, I was, I nailed it. I actually walked around Boston for like ten days, and they thought it was a Southie. So and it's kind, of, it's kind of funny. So, uh, so they, they are a lot closer than you think. A lot of that Long Island, there, 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 what there are, there is an interaction, even though with that, that Long Island sound, uh, there, there's, there is an interaction that's just over the water. So you know the accents can be very similar. But I, I felt like they got lost a little bit sometimes. Uh, so, and, and Christopher Lloyd being the grandpa, yeah, he, he had a good moment too. There's, there's, there's some good moments that, you know, it, it's hard when there's a time jump in films. There's a lot, a lot of, it, it's difficult to tell a long story, short, no pun, no pun intended. But, uh, but, the, but the, the tender bar told a very, very long story with the right amount of weight and it, and it, and it floated well with that, you know, it floated with that time where, where is a uh, long story short, told a very long story, but it's actually very thin. So I don't, I don't, I didn't have any weight with that. You know, it was just like, seemed like a, like a, I don't know, the, the, just, just a film, you know, to do. It was COVID, you know, small, small, uh, small crew. Both of them were done during COVID times, but a uh, small crew and, and uh, not really, uh, you know, not really much there. And, and when you, when you start looking at the characters, I don't know if I really liked them that much. That much. Like I said, good, good, good humor on, on that guy, uh, Rafe. He can, he can deliver a line. He's got like a good, that little, you know, boyish like you know you know uh smugness about him you know that he's not growing you know growing old but he, he he's he's obviously aging and he's not a young guy uh and he barely aged in the 10 years so i mean none of them really aged 10 years during this time period you don't really show your age that much it's really once you get past like a couple of you know a few more decades then then you really wear it down you can easily hide some age so i'm not really too upset with that but uh two movies gave it a shot i watched them i'd like i think everybody should watch them. watch more movies watch more movies uh I, I, I definitely recommend if you're gonna watch one of the two the tender bar i think is the better movie and and and, and kudos to, to 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 ben fleck as i call him uh befleck befleck let's go befleck befleck i'll call befleck uh and uh, it's very uh, a very new york long island you know uh a uh, uh, film and, and characters and and i, I liked it a lot i like the colors I like the way it was shot I like the locations I liked a lot of that. Uh, the, the long story short, I really didn't get it. You know, it's uh, by the end, it's I, the Sam story actually got me more than anything. So I, I watched it. I was able to go through, get through it. So, but so that's not, that's a good thing. I was able to get through it. But when I was thinking about it, I really didn't understand Leanne's character or or or, or really Teddy's failings in it. Besides, you know, working too hard to make money, which they had a nice fucking house. I'm just saying, it's a nice fucking house, nice location. You know, it's. I don't know. I don't know what it is over there. What 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 they think, you know, living good is. But that was a nice fucking house. All right. All the best, Roll the Rucci. Is uh, ready speaker, and uh, you have a great time. Until next time. Again, watch movies, learn something, talk about it, write something, do poetry, make more of yourself. That's my little. Uh, you know, don't better yourself, make more of yourself. That's that's my my line for everybody this year. Make more of yourself. Thank you. Bye.